Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you what my top 10 worst films of 2022 were, so stick around. So in 2022, there were a lot of good films and there were a lot of uh, bad films. Um, some of these I watched in the theater, some I got on physical media, and some I watched on streaming because that was the only way to watch them. Some were not terrible, but a big disappointment. And so it was really hard for me to rank the top 10 worst films. So um, these rankings may not be exact, but I'm going to kind of give you these from bad to worse. So starting with number 10 is Halloween Ends. I didn't hate the movie. I was just really disappointed in the direction that they went with it. Um, overall, I thought it, it was okay. I wasn't hating it as much as most people, but I can definitely see what the disappointment was in the way that they handled Michael Myers and the storyline and really focusing on some strange character that nobody really cared about. Okay, at number nine, I chose Men. Typically, I like a good A24 film. Either, well, either I like it or I hate it. This one right here was a pretty big miss for me. I didn't really like the way that it went. It started out pretty promising, um, but then it just kind of fell off halfway through, if not sooner. And so that's the reason why I made this number nine. Okay, at number eight, we have this film called Duel. Um... To be honest with you, I don't even remember very much about this film. It did not leave a very big impression on me. I do remember bits and pieces of it, but I could not recommend this film. And that's the reason why it's at number eight. At number seven is the Rob Zombie, The Monsters film. This right here was not terrible as far as what they were going for. It was a big disappointment because I really expected more um, of this film. Um, I, I do like the classic monsters, and I do like the way that this film looked as far as the way that the sets were, and I thought the costumes and makeup looked pretty good, but I just didn't like the story. It was kind of quirky and kind of out there, so that's the reason why I made this number seven. Okay, at number six, we have Crimes of the Future. This film right here probably just needs another watch. I I just didn't like this one. I don't really remember much about it, except that I didn't care much for it. Um, I really expected more, especially because of that image right there. Um, but I don't know. It was just a very weird story. I really couldn't get into it. So that's the reason why that is number six. Okay, number five is a Disney film. Usually the Disney films here late are not pretty good. And this is no exception. Turning Red is at number five because I did not care for this. Um, I know it was geared toward kids, but typically I like a good Disney film. I just did not like this one at all. And so that is number five. At number four is a Disney Plus um, movie that came out for Hocus Pocus 2. Um, I don't know. It was a big miss for me. I, it wasn't terrible. It was kind of nostalgic to see the characters back again, but the storyline was just kind of iffy. It wasn't. It didn't have the magic that the first one did, and that's the reason why I made that that one number four. At number three is another film that was streamed. Um, it was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I did not like that one either. Um, it could have been so much better. Um, I did enjoy some of the kills. But the storyline altogether just was a big miss for me, so I did not enjoy the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. At number two is this Disney film called Lightyear. Uh, this right here was such an unnecessary movie. They could have done so much better with the story. This right here was just a big bore, and um, I just didn't like it at all. So that would be my number two. And then, of course, my number one worst film of 2022 was Morbius. This right here was another snooze fest. Um, I just couldn't get into the character. To me, Morbius could have been a really good film, um, but the way that they went with it, it just was a big miss for me. So that is my number one worst film of 2022. 
Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my particular um, worst films of 2022, um, and let me know what some of your worst films were that maybe I have seen that I didn't that did not make it on my list. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.